Hi, I'm Don. Today we're painting another Mammoth Factory miniature model. This video is focused on painting yellow, yellow skin on this miniature and it's super easy. It just took me an hour or so to paint this miniature model into this. Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. This channel is supported by all these awesome brands. We start painting the skin with gold brown. The thing with the painting of this mini is that we started with a genital underpainting which is basically black, gray, and of course white gray to give us some kind of volume with just black and white. The key to painting yellows or even reds is that you have an underpainting. You can't really paint these colors because they're you can't paint them over black primer directly unless you like that very ugly stage during the first two coats of painting a mini. Now we paint with game color moon yellow which is a very bright, very nice yellow color. But this is very semi, not semi, but very transparent to be honest. And painting this directly on top of the cenital will work. But will give you like maybe an additional layer or coats or even a couple more coats to give you a full coverage. Unlike the gold brown which I applied it like in two thin coats and I got a really nice good coverage. So you may ask, can you paint yellows on top of black primer? Of course you can't. <laughs> no, kidding aside, of course you can. But the first couple of coats of yellow paint on top of black primer will be super ugly. Especially if you do the 1 is to 1 thinning ratio of most master painters, that will take a lot of layers to give you a full coverage regardless of paint brand. Now you see in the video, we're painting the underbelly of this yellow skinned alien thing, but it's a matter of just painting a basic skin tone under, under the belly and then we're going to be painting light flesh eventually as highlights and build up the volume of the underbelly. Painting yellows on top of black primer is actually very nice once you build up really dark browns or even cavalry brown and then you build it up with reds, dark reds, and oranges, and then eventually yellows, and of course your highlights. That is the long route, but that will give you the most volume in your painting, in my opinion. But painting your actual base color, your actual yellow, on top of black primer is a no-no for me. Now we paint highlights. So basically, I call this pre-highlights because we're going to tone this down later with transparent paints. We're using sunny skin tone and ice yellow for this highlights, pre-highlights. But again, you could use ivory or even white or even gloss white because we're going to tone it down later. I'm using our $100 highlight sauce. When I'm painting highlights like this, the highlight sauce will keep the brush fresher longer than just using water. Do not worry of overdoing the highlights because you could like overdo this and it will be fine later. Just focus on applying enough highlights so that your miniature have really good definition and more volume. Now we're painting highlights with light flesh over the underbelly of this mini but eventually I added like white, I mix white with light flesh and painted really fine highlights on the skin part not at the latter part of this video because I think I did not record that part of the painting in this video. Again, it's just a matter of building up more definition on the skin part of this mini with your highlight paints. 
Once you're happy with the painting of the highlights of your miniature, we move on to the main part of the painting of this mini. Now we move on to painting with Vallejo transparent paints. Transparent paints are awesome. They're very versatile and to be honest, they're actually a bit more like easier to use than even inks. Much like inks though, they kind of give you like, they seem to be transparent every time. They don't give me a cloudy finish around recesses and areas like that, unlike washes. Transparent paints feel like inks, Vallejo inks. They also kind of feel like um, contrast paints. They remain transparent, they're easy to apply on the model. But the main difference is that they have a creamier like model color consistency because inks and like contrast paints or even washes have a very watery consistency. If you're a long time subscriber, you all know that I don't like washes in miniature painting. No, I'm not saying that washes are crap, but I don't prefer, like, I prefer using them on mecha and gunpla with weathering and stuff like that. But when it comes to miniature painting, I like the control of painting with less watery paints. So the transparent paints, because they're creamy and they're not watery, you just thin them down a little bit. You could use like our highlight sauce if you want, and they're perfect for recess painting. You can see here that I'm using clear orange, which is a very orange color, and I'm painting those, I'm painting that paint over recesses to give really good definition to our model. The transparent orange, on the other hand, is a bit more yellow. If you thin it down one is to one with water, you could like apply it like a wash and it will give you a yellowish consistency or yellowish finish. But if you don't thin it down, it will give you a more orangey like recess painting. But again, you flip flop with a clear orange to give you more definition. Now I'm painting with just transparent yellow. As you can see, I'm painting it on the top areas of the model. I'm using it to tone down our highlights. This will blend our highlights a bit towards our yellow skin and it will look less harsh. You could also use yellow fluorescent paints for this one because we're basically using the yellow transparent paint as a glaze paint so that we blend everything together. After applying the transparent yellow, even if it is still wet, you could wet blend with the clear orange with the transparent orange and create really nice wet blending with these transparent paints. Of course, you could use washes or even contrast paints or even inks with this technique. But the main difference of using transparent paints is that they're not watery. Painting with transparent paints feels like painting, but with transparent paints and not with washes. Once you're happy with the painting of transparent paints of the clear orange, transparent orange, and transparent yellow, we move on to using inks to give more definition and volume to our model. Now we use skin wash ink and sepia ink. The skin wash, initially I thinned down really well with water and used it as an initial wash for the flesh parts of this model. This lazy wash with the skin wash is kind of nice but at the same time it toned down the highlights that we painted earlier. So if you want, you could reapply or repaint those highlights once you're done with the washes. Now for the sepia ink, I did not thin it down so much. I just used our highlight sauce and painted it along recesses to give more definition to our model. 
you don't really need the highlight sauce for painting recesses with inks. However, the highlight sauce is creamier than water, thus it will give you more control than just using water. Also, our highlight sauce will delay the drying time for a few seconds while on the mini, thus you could correct mistakes if need be. You could also use violet ink for the extreme like very deep recesses of this model and that will give you a warmer like warmer shade areas and it will look really good. Now we paint the rocks and the tufts. <laughs> no, the tufts I just glued it on top of the model. The rock I painted with bluish like cool tones of grays and dark grays. I used the usual sea gray, blue sea gray and of course I use wolf gray as our highlight so that the bluish tone of the rock will give a very subtle contrast with our yellow skinned miniature. Wolf Grey is a very good highlight color if you want a cooler highlight color that is a bluish white color. So it comes in handy because you will use it often for NMM and stuff like that. Now we just glue the Vallejo tufts. The tufts have self-adhesion but I like adding wood glue to the tufts. Now for our Golden Lemon Reveal. That's it! Painting Yellow Skin. It's super easy as long as you have Zenithal underpainting or at the very least gray primer underpainting and then you paint a yellow ochre paint. Any yellow ochre paint will work because it gives you a very nice coverage before you paint really bright yellows. Then it's a matter of giving more definition and more volume with transparent paints and inks. That's it. We're done. I hope you liked the video. Do like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our Discord community. Saludos!